Over the past 20 years, many scientists have gained attention by highlighting the impact of small changes on well-being. For example, they found that automatically enrolling people in organ donor programs increases donation rates, and placing healthy foods at the front of a buffet line encourages healthier eating. However, skepticism has arisen regarding these findings. Other researchers discovered that the effects were not as significant as initially claimed, or sometimes had no impact at all. Recently, the field faced a serious blow when a prominent behavioural scientist, Francesca Gino from Harvard Business School, was accused of fabricating results in multiple studies, including one that explored how to elicit honest behaviour. These accusations have created significant waves in the academic community. Dr. Gino, who is highly respected and has authored numerous papers on topics such as the influence of rituals on food choices and the effects of networking on professionals, has many collaborators and is considered a leading scholar in the field. Maurice Schweitzer, a behavioural scientist at the Wharton School, acknowledged the repercussions of the accusations and mentioned that he, along with many other scholars, is reviewing the papers he collaborated on with Dr. Gino to look for signs of fraud. Behavioural research is common in psychology, management and economics, allowing scholars to bridge these disciplines. Dr. Gino, with a PhD in economics and management, has been involved in research exploring various aspects of behaviour. The doubts about her work emerged when a paper she co-authored with Max H. Bazerman was questioned, suggesting the potential fabrication of results. The 2012 paper examined the impact of asking individuals to confirm the truthfulness of their claims at the beginning of filling out tax or insurance documents, rather than at the end. The study claimed that this simple change significantly improved the accuracy of the information provided. Despite its wide citation by other researchers, recent studies have cast doubt on the validity of its findings. Dr. Gino did not respond to requests for comment, and Harvard Business School declined to comment on the matter. Concerns about her work were raised in an article published in the Chronicle of Higher Education, which reported that a study overseen by Dr. Gino appeared to contain fabricated results. On June 17, a blog called Data Collada, run by three behavioural scientists, presented detailed evidence indicating the falsification of results in the 2012 paper and three other papers on which Dr. Gino collaborated. These behavioural scientists, who focus on the integrity and reliability of social science research, had previously found issues with the 2012 paper, which led to its retraction by the journal that published it. The evidence presented by Data Collada revealed tampering with data points, suggesting manipulation to drive the desired outcome. This was not the first time the blog had identified problems with Dr. Gino's work, as they had previously detected fabricated data in another study published in the same paper. Several scholars expressed surprise and disbelief at the accusations against Dr. Gino, as they had not suspected any fraud in her work. However, they acknowledged that behavioural research, which overlaps with psychology, sometimes produces findings that resemble questionable research methods. Questionable research methods in this field can involve p-hacking, where researchers test various data combinations until they find a statistically significant correlation. Replicating studies in psychology has proven challenging, with fewer than half of 100 prominent studies being successfully replicated in a 2015 research effort. These recent developments have raised concerns about the reliability of behavioural research and its methodologies. The accusations against Dr. Gino have sparked a re-evaluation of her work and a deeper examination of the field as a whole.